an ambush style attack. That's how officials in Colorado are describing a shooting that left one deputy sheriff dead and four other officers hurt. Two civilians also injured after police responded to a disturbance at an apartment complex. As for the gunman, officials say he fired more than 100 rounds and he was killed in a shootout with police. A neighbor called police reporting a verbal disturbance early this morning. Officers arrived shortly after 5 a.m. local time. There was some talk between officials and the gunman before gunfire rang out. Police say it's not clear what caused the situation to escalate. All of them were shot um, very, very quickly. Um, and uh, they all went down uh, almost within seconds of each other. So it was a, it was a more of a, of an ambush type of a, attack on our officers. Um, he knew we were coming. The violent clash prompting Douglas County Sheriff's Office to issue a red alert for the area. Nearby residents were told to shelter in place, avoid windows, and stay away from exterior walls. Witnesses report hearing a barrage of gunfire. We're learning more about the deputy sheriff who was killed. Zach Parrish was 29. He leaves behind a wife and two young children. I spent some time with his wife. Uh, I can't tell you how difficult it is um, for a leader to sit down with the spouse of uh, an officer who was killed in the line of duty. Um, they had uh, many hopes and dreams. A solemn procession transported the slain officer, first responders lining roadways. Today's shooting happened in the community of Highlands Ranch, just about 15 kilometers away from the 1999 Columbine High School massacre. And Donald Trump reacting to the shooting, sharing his deepest condolences to the victims. And those four officers who were hurt, they are said to be in stable condition right now. And I want to leave you with this image from a local reporter showing firefighters standing on top of their fire truck. This as the procession with the slain officer passed by.